Hey guys, we are continuing with sol uh, solutions of problems from Halliday Resnick Walker, 8th edition. Remember, we are using 8th edition. And this time we are going to solve problem number 7. Okay, let me read it out. Two identical conducting spheres fixed in place attract each other with an electrostatic force. Attract each other. That means they are having unlike charges. Attract each other with an electrostatic force of 0.108 newtons when their center to center separation is 50 centimeters. The spheres are then connected by a thin conducting wire. When the wire is removed, the spheres uh, repel each other with an electrostatic force of 0.036 newtons. Of the initial charges on the spheres with a positive net charge, Okay, so total charge is positive initially. Of the initial charges on the spheres with a po positive net charge, what was part A, the negative charge on one of them, and part B, the positive charge on the other? Okay, so let's start. We're having two cases here. Case one. We're having two spheres two fixed spheres separated by some distance say r one of them is having a charge of q1 the other is having a charge of q2 and this is what we had find out q1 and q2 and remember initially they attract each other so one of them must be positive the other one must be negative so let me call this x axis x x prime with this one positive direction and this one negative direction let's consider force on q2 now q2 is being attracted by q1 because the two charges are unlike so this is the force direction of the force between them since the force is in negative direction so we'll use minus sign with the force and that force is given that force we are told is equal to 0 0.108 newton 0. 108 newtons but since it is in the negative direction so we use the minus sign okay we use the minus sign now distance r is also given r is equal to 50 centimeters which means 50 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters okay 15 to 10 to the power minus 2 meters so uh, then what is being done is the two spheres are connected by a wire Okay. The two spheres are connected by a wire. When they are connected by a wire, charges will get transferred from one sphere to the other sphere. Since the spheres are identical, so total charge will be now equally distributed between the two. That means half of the total charge will be for this sphere, half of the total charge will be for this sphere. Meaning Q1 plus Q2 by 2 for this one and Q1 plus Q2 by 2 for this one. Half of Q1 plus Q2 for this one, half of Q1 plus Q2 for this one. And then force is again given that we'll deal with in case 2. First we'll uh, uh, write down an equation here for case 1. So F is given, R is given, Q1 and Q2 we know which we had to find out. Uh, using Coulomb's law. We know gamma Q1 Q2 divided by R squared. Remember gamma I'm using for electrostatic constant 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. So let's substitute the value. No, first uh, right Q1 Q2 is equal to R squared. Let's take it upstairs FR squared and gamma to downstairs. So FR squared divided by gamma FR squared divided by gamma. Let's substitute the values now. Okay, where did this come from? Ah, ah, you must be kidding. Okay, leave it there. <laughs> Come on. Okay, leave it there. So let's write. Q1, Q2 is equal to F. F we are given is minus 0 0.108. Yeah, minus 0 0.108 into r squared is 50 into 10 to the power minus 2 squared divided by gamma is 9 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 9 10 to the power 9 so this implies q1 
q1q2 is equal to now this thing i have solved here this comes out to be uh, minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 meaning q2 is equal to minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by q1 call this equation 1 so from case 1 we get one equation for q1 and q2 with q2 equal to minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by q1 Case 2 will give us another such equation wherein we will substitute the value of Q2 like this and find out Q1. Look here Q1 and Q2 the product comes out to be negative because they are unlike. So remember this minus sign is very important. Taking this minus sign is important. Okay. Taking this minus sign is important. Now let us go to case 2. Case 2. Now the two spheres are connected by a wire, okay. So this one will have half the charge, half the total charge Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2 and this one will have another half Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. They are separated by the same distance R and we will have the same x axis, so no change in that, this positive direction of x axis, this negative direction of x axis. Now the force between them is repulsive, okay, they repel each other now. So force, jo hai, force will be in this direction, F prime, I'll call this. Now the force is in positive direction, so we'll use positive sign for that. So F prime is given, is equal to plus 0 0.036, 036 newtons. And R, we already know, is 50 centimeters, meaning 15 to 10 to the power minus 2 meters. So again, let's use the Newton second, uh, uh, this uh, Coulomb's law. F is equal to gamma Q1. Okay, instead of Q1, what do we have? Q1 is Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. Then Q2 is again Q1 plus Q2 divided by 2. Then divided by R squared. So we get F is equal to gamma by R squared Q1 plus Q2 whole squared Q1 plus Q2 into Q1 plus Q2. 2 into 2 is 4. Let's write that here. So this implies Q1 plus Q2 whole squared. Q1 plus Q2 whole squared is equal to F. Let's take this F prime. This is F prime, the new force. Okay, I'll use F prime. F prime 4R squared divided by gamma. So let's substitute the values. Uh, F is 0 0.036 into 4 into r is 50 into 10 to the power minus 2 squared divided by gamma is 9 into 10 to the power 9. So this implies q1 plus q2 whole squared is equal to now this thing I have worked out here is 4 into 10 to the power minus 12. 4 into 10 to the power minus 12. So let's take square on the other side. So Q1 plus Q2 is equal to root of this thing. 2 root is, 4 root is 2 into 10 to the power minus 6. Or Q1. Okay, now we'll substitute Q2. Remember from case 1, we had Q1. Here it is. Q1, Q2 is equal to minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by Q1. Now we'll use that in the present equation. Minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by Q1. So Q2 is minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by Q1 is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 6. So let's cross multiply here. This becomes Q1 squared minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12. Whole divided by Q1, we'll shift that to this side. This will become 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into Q1. So, little rearrangement. So, Q1 squared minus this thing here. 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 Q1. Then this thing minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 12 is equal to 0. 
सो वी हैव एन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन क्यू वन सी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस बी एक्स माइनस सी इज इक्वल जीरो ए इज इक्वल वन हेयर एंड दिस गाय इज बी बी इज इक्वल माइनस टू इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स दिस गाय इज सी सी इज इक्वल माइनस थ्री इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस ट्वेल्व सो लेट्स फाइंड द रूट्स Q1 is equal to remember that famous equation minus b plus minus under root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is what we'll use. So this implies Q1 is equal to minus b. B is minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 6. This one plus minus under root of b squared is again the same guy minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole squared minus 4. A C A is one. C is minus three into ten to the power minus twelve divided by two A. A is again one. Fine. So this implies Q one is equal to this minus minus plus two into ten to the power minus six plus minus. Now this guy here in the root is four into ten to the power minus six. Four into ten to the power minus six. So let's keep it this way. Divided by two. Let's cancel out two. Two will take common here. So Q one is one into ten to the power minus six plus minus two into ten to the power minus six. Okay, divided by two is gone now. So Q one one into ten to the power minus six plus minus two into ten to the power minus six. So either Q one is equal to. If we use the plus sign, then we'll have two plus one is three, three into ten to the power minus six. Or if we use minus sign, then Q one is equal to one minus two is minus one into ten to the power minus six. Corresponding to both values, we'll have some value for Q two. So remember Q two from case one we know here minus three into ten to the power minus twelve divided by Q one minus three into ten to the power minus twelve divided by Q one. So let's use that here for this one and Q two is equal to minus three into ten to the power minus twelve divided by Q one is three into ten to the power six minus six. So this is minus one into ten to the power. This guy will go up. It will become ten to the power plus six. Bases are same. Powers are added. We'll get minus six. So Q two is minus one into ten to the power minus six. Here, if Q one is minus one into ten to the power minus. Now look here. Q one is three into ten to the power minus six. Q two is minus one into ten to the power minus six. Now, if Q one is minus one into ten to the power minus six, Q two will be this one. Q two is three into ten to the power minus six. So one of the charges is three into ten to the power minus six. The other charge is minus one into ten to the power minus six. So one charge is equal to three into ten to the power minus six coulomb. Other one. Is equal to minus one into ten to the power minus six coulomb. Okay, one charge is three into ten to the power minus six. The other one is minus one into ten to the power minus six. You can see one of them is positive, the other one is negative. Okay, fine. 